Good afternoon, and welcome to our distinguished guests, visitors, and friends. I am Anthony Neboa. And I am Zoe Fox. We are very excited that you are here with us today. Please rise for the ple presentation of the colors. Color guard, earth and hut, carry. Colors. Ready, cut, forward, march. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Jillian Itchen, a senior at Quantico Middle High School. Thank you, you may be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our superintendent, Mr. Michael Gould. Aren't you just amazed at our color guard and our national anthem singer? Could we give them one more round of applause? <laughs> Thank you, Zoe and Anthony. I appreciate that introduction. Welcome to Mr. Brady, director of DODIA, to General Faulkner, to our special guest, Dr. Middlemas, DDES director, students, staff, and all of the very special guests present here today, parents, community members, this has been a long day in the coming, and we are glad to have all of you with us this morning. So students, I need your help this morning. Oh, it's not morning anymore, is it? This afternoon. I need your help this afternoon. 
What is the name of this school? I'm going to ask you to say that one more time, but to just say the first word. What's the name of this school? Okay, so I need your help as I go through my speech. When I do this, I want you to say crossroads. Can we try it? You guys are amazing. Today is a memory-making day. Today we focus on Crossroads. elementary school, how we got to this point, and the promise that Crossroads. elementary school holds for the future of every student and parent who walks through these doors. Over four years ago, with the help of our facilities specialist on our own staff, assistance from our area office staff in Peachtree City, Georgia, and assistance from the DoDEA headquarters staff, we started thinking about and planning for this school, which we now call Crossroads. Elementary School. We immediately started coordinating with our partners on base. Colonel Choiki was the base commander at the time, and he enthusiastically played into our process. And then Colonel Maxwell came. Colonel Maxwell, our CO here at Quantico Marine Corps Base, played into the support here in an amazing way, picked up the momentum when he arrived, and he helped us to carry it through. He supported us with the involvement of many friends. And I'm going to ask different groups of people to stand when I recognize the group. And folks, please don't be shy, because it's really important today for all of us to acknowledge the partners who have been part of what has gone into creating. Oh, I caught you sleeping. Elementary school. So some of our friends started out with um, partners right here in the base that we work with every day to take care of our facilities. And they are the people who are connected with Public Works and the NAFAC office. Would you all stand, please? Anyone connected with Public Works, NAFAC, the base in general, please. Thank you. Commander Greeson, you have an amazing team, and uh, the support there is, is truly amazing. They helped us deal with site issues, UXO screening, safety and security, and goals for this new building related to being lead silver or lead gold. They helped position us to bring on board a design team from Waller, Todd, and Sadler. I'm not sure if we have a rep here today from Waller, Todd, and Sadler or not. Is there anybody present? Please. Thank you very much. There was a partnership there. We don't want to leave everybody out. The amazing partners are truly amazing, and there's so many people who played into this. But you helped us to design a building that is truly amazing. We can't thank you enough for the creativity that went into all of those conversations and all of the information that was pulled from our staff, from our community, and from our students as we, lo as we looked forward. So they helped us to design a school, and then we changed the design standards, and they helped us design it a second time. They helped us to put in the 21st century design components that support our focus on collaboration and differentiation. And then we brought on board a construction team from Homeland Jordan. Would the Homeland Jordan folks please stand? I'm not used to seeing you guys without the hard hats on. Sorry about that. Um, but boys and girls, they're the ones who helped the dream to come true. They're the ones that took the pictures and the print that had been put together by so many people, and they turned it into actual floors and walls, windows and stairs and ceilings and so much more. So many partners who played into this. But they actually had about two years to do the designing process. We had two years to do the building process. And then they gave an amazing group of people 
a week and a half to move into it. And I want to personally thank every one of our staff who are standing here today and our maintenance and facilities team, our logistics team. I know you're seated in the back of the room and I know it's not everybody, but would you all please stand? Because that group, along with all of your teachers and the aides and the people who take care of us day to day, they moved the supplies and materials needed for 678 students, 75 staff members, and all of what is necessary to run a school from three different locations into one location, got it set up and ready to rock and roll on the 13th of April. Folks, you have my dying gratitude I don't think that came out right. Undying gratitude. <laughs> so about a year ago, we challenged our principals to conduct a process to determine a name for this new school building. And after a lengthy process, boys and girls, we settled on <laughs> elementary school. What we have not talked about, though, is what does that name mean? Here at Quantico, has a very special meaning because many Marines travel the roads that pass through Quantico and they maybe even come back two or three times because after all this is the Quantico. of the Marine Corps so what does crossroads mean to me when I think about it what does crossroad mean to you as we think about this school well, I have a vision, and I envision that at Crossroads Elementary School, students are nurtured to gain knowledge, but more importantly, to develop problem-solving skills and self-awareness so that you see yourselves constantly at a crossroad, where you see that you have options where you know that you have earned the opportunity of having options and where you realize that you get to make choices and guess what boys and girls I know that you will make good choices informed choices choices that have your future in mind so, that is what I think the name means to me, and it is what I pray will be the legacy of this building. Thank you. So I want somebody else to come up to the microphone right now, and it's somebody that you know very well, but I'm going to ask you to give me a minute to talk a little bit about her. Ms. Kasmarski attended James Madison University in Harrisonburg, Virginia, where she received a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education. She received a Master's of Education in School Administration from the University in Alaska, of Alaska. Ms. Kasmarski began her career with the Department of Defense Education activity while her family was stationed in Panama. Her first teaching assignment was as a sixth grade teacher at Kurundu Elementary School. In August of 2000, Ms. Kasmorski was promoted to assistant principal at Daegu American School, and Ms. Kasmorski was promoted to principal of Humphreys, Elema Humphreys American Elementary School. And in 2008, we selected her and named her principal of John H. Russell Elementary School. Recently, we gave her a new responsibility, and that is the principal of Crossroads Elementary School. She's a proven, effective leader. She's passionate about serving the active duty military family and the military child, and she is committed to providing the most impactful experience possible. She has great organizational skills, and she's a 21st century designer in education for Crossroads Elementary School. Please welcome Ms. Kasmorski.
Thank you, Mr. Gould, and good afternoon. With the opening of Crossroads Elementary School on Monday, April 13th, we began a new chapter in our tradition of educating and preparing our students for the future. This 21st century design school provides the environment and tools necessary to educate, engage, and empower each of our students to succeed in a dynamic world. The merging of three schools into one was not just a physical move, but the blending of many different traditions and educational philosophies. Our challenge on this journey was to build a cohesive community without negating the importance of the rich history of each individual school. This has been truly an incredible journey, which began three years ago with two questions. Number one, how do we ensure a smooth and successful transition from three traditional learning environments to the 21st century teaching and learning environment at Crossroads Elementary School? And two, how do you accomplish this when you are in three different schools? After much discussion, we realized collaboration was the key to our success in the blending of these three distinct school communities. Our collaboration encompassed not only professional activities, but also extended to a personal level. We came together and purposely planned professional development days into our school calendar, ensuring opportunities for open, constructive dialogue across grade levels. We developed grade level curriculum planning to ensure consistency across the grade levels. We selected our two academic goals based on data analysis, and we also developed a comprehensive assessment plan, calendar, and protocols. Lastly, we created opportunities for team building. Looking back at this incredible journey, we are proud of the rich history, legacy, and positive impact Ashurst, Burroughs, and Russell Elementary Schools had on the students for the last 62 years. We are thrilled to combine the expertise, effort, and enthusiasm of the dedicated educators, staff, and families from these schools to build a community of learners and leaders at Crossroads Elementary School. Thank you. As they're coming up, we will now enjoy two songs, Treat Me, Teach Me Well, and Best Self, Best Work, Best World, performed by our fourth grade students under the direction of Mrs. Vicki Russ.
give them another round of applause. Excellent. Thomas M. Brady is the director of the Department of Defense Education Activity. Mr. Brady became the director on March 12, 2014. As DoDEA's director, Mr. Brady has oversight of all Defense Department K-12 schools, both stateside and overseas. The education activity operates 191 schools in 14 districts, serving more than 82,000 students. Mr. Brady has extensive experience as an educational leader, most recently as a former superintendent of Providence, Rhode Island Public Schools. Prior to his leadership of Providence, Rhode Island Public Schools, he was the Chief Executive Officer for the School District of Philadelphia and Chief Operating Officer for the District of Columbia Public Schools and Fairfax County Public Schools. Mr. Brady's commitment to public service is not limited to the education sector. He served as a commission officer for 25 years in the United States Army. Highlights of his military career included serving as the commanding officer at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, and a battalion commander at Fort Benning, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas M. Brady. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and most importantly, the parents and children of Kaucha. Let's try it again. I am very, very excited to be here. And it's hard to believe as you look around that it's been two weeks since you've been here, isn't it? Absolutely. I bring you greetings from 191 uh, schools and 75,000 children from all over the world. Just to celebrate, and they're aware of Crossroads. I want to uh, just take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about the commitment that, um, that DoDEA has for brand new schools. We have $4.1 billion in, in our funding for the next five, 10 years to build schools that you deserve. And we have completed uh, 18, and we have 24 under construction, and we have 25 planning. And they all revolve around 21st century learning, teaching and learning. And you've already experienced that, but many of the adults here may not be aware of it, but it's nothing like what used to be in the three schools, for example, that were replaced here at Quantico. Instead of individual classrooms, where do you learn? You go to neighborhoods, right? And you have teachers there who are collaborating, and you're problem solving, and you're in ability groups. And I think that that's absolutely terrific, because that's going to prepare you to be a success as you go on and leave. Right. And so there's a team, and I think your superintendent, Mr. Gould, talked about it. Everybody, to make this such a great success, it began with a team. The Army Corps of Engineers have a design center and the Naval Facilities Command helped build this and apparently designed it twice and, and now it is exactly what it is and it's a beautiful, beautiful facility. But it wasn't done overnight, it was a four year period, but moving in was over a two week period. And I have to thank the staff and I have to thank the teachers and you owe the teachers a round of applause for all that they have done in such a short period of time. So please, give your teachers a round of applause. I think collaboration is the theme and collaboration in both the adults to build it and more importantly for you to improve your student achievement as you go, as you go on. I, I think a special thank you to the administrators. I think in the education business it's hard to open a school but it's exceedingly difficult to close a school. So my hat's off to the staff and the principals who closed schools but also made sure that this was a absolutely seamless opening in the new school. And so I congratulate everyone. Uh, I wish you absolutely the best success. I think that Mrs. Russ and, that, uh, and your chorus is absolutely terrific. They deserve another round of applause. <laughs> no, 
And, and I wish you much success as Crossroads becomes a great, great school. Thank you very much. Well, good afternoon. Okay, I, I'm sorry, sir. That one of the best moves I've seen in a long time, and I, I had to throw it in. All right, so I'm going to talk specifically to our students, who this is what it's really all about. This is your school. And a lot of people did a lot of hard work to bring this together. And I wanted to just take a minute as the school board president to introduce our guest speaker, Lieutenant General Faulkner. Uh, the Lieutenant General happens to be the Deputy Commandant up there in the Pentagon uh, of all of the Marine Corps bases and stations around the globe to include here at Quantico. He is that number one guy and he has been partnering with Dodia and with the base commander and his staff to make this school possible not only for you to learn in but for the parents and the educators, the teachers and the staff to get a facility that's worthy of having our children in it. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the Deputy Commandant for Installations and Logistics, Lieutenant General William Faulkner. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, it, is, it is indeed a pleasure to be here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to, to keep consistent with the Crossroads theme here, so I don't know if I'm coordinated enough to do it, but, but kids, first off, let me, let me check to make sure you got it. So when I do this, what do you say? Crossroads! See, I think I was louder than anyone. <laughs> well, thanks, and uh, thanks to uh, Master Gunnery Sergeant uh, Dan Furiak. Uh, just for that uh, tremendous uh, introduction and thanks for your leadership not only leadership in the Marine Corps but leadership as uh, Quantico School Board President so Dan thank you uh, ladies and gentlemen it is a, an absolute pleasure for me to be here this afternoon as part of this special event on behalf of our Commandant General Dunford and his wife Ellen uh, it, it is very special uh, to be part of the opening today of elementary school. A, uh, a, a thank you to, as well to Mr. Brady and certainly to uh, the principal, uh, Ms. Kazmarski, and certainly to uh, Mr. Gould as well and Dr. Middlesex. I had, middle, middle miss, excuse me. I had a, uh, uh, an opportunity over the last 45 minutes to actually get a tour of the school. And to say it was impressive is an understatement. Nothing like I've ever seen before and certainly nothing like uh, probably most of us adults had an opportunity to do when we were, when we were students. But as, uh, as Dr. Brady talked about, it's a team event and there's a lot of fingerprints that are on this school. And so to start naming them, we'd end up missing someone, but certainly it's not only everyone that was involved in the, in the design, but it's the teachers, it's the uh, maintenance, it's the, it's the support, Everyone that basically touched this, especially to include the parents. The official opening of Crossroads is personal to a lot of us. It's personal to me. Uh, I was here as a, as a youngster back in the late 60s when my dad was stationed here as a Marine. I went to third and fourth grade at Ashurst Elementary School. And uh, so it's, uh, it's certainly near and dear uh, uh, to my heart. As a matter of fact, I was thinking as I was getting the tour, if in fact I had an opportunity to, uh, to maybe be in some of these neighborhoods, do some of the problem solving and the critical thinking that these kids are doing, I'd uh, probably learned more out of third, remembered more out of third and fourth grade than just going down that big hill at Ashurst on my sled. So uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. I also know firsthand the importance of education in that my uh, youngest daughter is a first grade teacher and my wife has been a uh, teacher's assistant for the last 30 years. And so education is near and dear uh, to my heart as well. Just as the Marine Corps is America's force in readiness, we need to do all possible to ensure that we make sure that our families and our children are ready as well as we put them on, on the, the, the road in life. 
Also, uh, you hear this afternoon, everyone knows, that you, have, you know the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps has a reputation, a tremendous reputation of everything we, touching, we touch making better. We like to think that we're first in everything that we do. So just like uh, making sure that our Marines have the best equipment and the finest facilities, it's really no different than what we want for our families and what we want for our children and for our students. And ladies and gentlemen, I would offer to you, that's case in point today, with Crossroads Elementary School. State-of-the-art design, the way the neighborhoods are organized, the technology, the smart boards, everything in there is tremendous. And so it's not only that, talking to uh, Mr. Gould, it's what we also need to continue to do to our teachers, making sure that they understand uh, the latest in, in techniques and teaching techniques, everything that we do. But at the end of the day, what it really does is it, it, it really places our 21st century ch children and sets them up for success in realities that they're going to face when they leave the school. And it's not only an investment in this facility, it's an investment in our, in, our, uh, in our children. So as I conclude, I want to I really just thank everyone that had a role in the school. But at the end, just like Master Gunny Furiak did, I'd like to kind of direct my final comments to what's most important here, and really that's our students, and that's our children. So kids, listen to what I'm going to have to say here. I'm going to leave you with four things that I want you to think about, okay? And four things that I want you to do. And first off, I want you to take pride in your school. And so as you're walking around and you see trash or you see someone that's not taking care of your school, you need to make sure that they understand differently and how important it is to take pride and, and do good. The second thing I'd like you to do is make sure you continue to listen to your teachers and your parents. They know, they know through experience that the best things to do. And the third thing I want you to do is I want you to study hard. You need to try hard at everything that you do. And fourth, I want you to have fun. Because if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Okay? Everybody understand that? So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for what you do for our students. Thank you for what you do for the Marine Corps. Semper Fidelis, thank you. Dr. Middlemas has been the interim area director for the domestic dependent elementary and secondary schools and Dodds Cuba schools since October 2012. Dr. Middlemas retired from Dodea in 2006 with more than 19 years service. She has held a variety of leadership and administrative positions to include serving as Dodea's principal deputy director. Dr. Middlemas has also served as the interim DDES Deputy Director and Chief of Staff, Principal at Faith Middle School, Fort Benning, Georgia, and Director of Pers uh, Professional Development and Public Relations, Fort Benning Schools. She has also received the Secretary of Defense Medal for M Meritorious Civilian Service and American Overseas Schools Historical Society Flame Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Elizabeth Middlemiss. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a good job you have done. I'm so very proud of you and proud to know that you are the very first students at our beautiful new school. Pat yourselves on the back, please. Good job because you've got a big job to do this year to be the very first people to, to be in this school and to learn all that you can learn. I want to tell you something, I'm the very last person to talk. So listen up, and then we're going to have the ribbon cutting. So, I was invited to talk to you all and to close the ceremony. And it's, it's closing, but it's really the beginning, you know. It's the beginning of all the things that you're going to be doing 
as you, uh, as you, as you work together. I was in your classrooms, many of your classrooms today, and I saw you and your teachers learning, using the whiteboards, using the books, talking to each other, looking at the computers, doing such a good job. I was around when your teachers started thinking about coming to this school. And I can tell you, because I work with teachers all over the place, that they were very, very special. Because even when they were in their three schools, they were thinking about you and thinking about coming to school here. And they started working together long ago. Yes, they had to move in in a week and a half, but they didn't start working a week and a half ago. They've been working for a long, long time to make this happen. And as they've said, you're in a wonderful new place. You're not sitting in straight rows and holding, shh, be quiet. That's not what's happening. You're talking, you're listening, you're learning. You're also using 21st century tools, all those computers, all those whiteboards, all those special things, all those STEM kinds of programs and certainly the music and the wonderful things that you're doing in the arts. Mr. Gould explained the meaning of crossroads. I know I'll do this, but I'll do it at the end. Uh, Mr. Gould explained the meaning of crossroads, and certainly our new school has a meaning for a long time to all the staff here at Quantico, as, as they've planned and prepared and worked tirelessly. The very first. And crossroads can have a very special place in your heart as you grow up. How many of you know Dr. Seuss? If you do, just pull on your ear. Yeah. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that Dr. Seuss says is you have brains in your head, you have feet on your shoes, in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Let me say it again. See if you think about it. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. And so this is a place to make good choices and to really make Crossroads the very best school it can be. As I close up, I want to tell you something about myself. And you must be thinking, what can that old lady have in, that's even part of what I am or who I am? Well, I'll tell you something. Long ago, my dad was here. Because just like you, I am the child of a Marine. My dad came here in World War II, and he learned many of the things he learned as a bombardier navigator on what he calls Brown Airfield, but I think it's called Turner Airfield now. And when I was a little girl, my dad brought me here many, many times, and he would tell me about the things he learned and the things that were important to him. My dad, it's hard for me to believe, but he's 91 years old now, and he still talks of the Marine Corps and what it means to him. And it, although he's unable to physically come here to Quantico anymore, whenever he has the chance, he talks to me about it, and he was excited to know that I'd be here again today with you. And so for him, I say hello to you too. So I encourage you to take advantage of all the many opportunities that Crossroads and the staff can do. And I thank all of you at, as the staff for everything that you have done to make it possible. To all of you, like my father and so many others who remember their time at Quantico, I hope that you will return to... Oh, come on, guys. Thank you very much. One more time. And I hope that you'll return often and that the things that you do here will be memories, wonderful memories, to last a lifetime. I'm proud of you, boys and girls. You're a wonderful group. Do wonderful things with your teachers this year. And thank you, staff, for all that you've done and will continue to do. Most appreciated. Well, this concludes our dedication ceremony. 
We would truly like to thank everyone for joining us today for this wonderful event. At this time, our student representatives, Anthony and Zoe, will escort our distinguished guests to the front of the building for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Yeah, that's great. Ready, Sean? Good. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> 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 